name is Jean-Baptiste Cigar. I'm the CEO of EPTender company. EPTender is a startup uh, which is developing an on-demand service uh, for electric vehicle. And this service is range extending of the electric vehicle. Uh, and the concept is that a full electric vehicle, like the car which is shown here, is a perfect vehicle 360 days in a year. Uh, but everybody once in a while needs to make a longer distance trip. And so EP Tender can provide for this. You have here a gasoline engine, um, a fuel tank for 35 liter, and an electric machine. So it can generate power, uh, which is sent direct to the car when you attach it to the car. So the idea is you rent this device occasionally for these long distance trips. It can be attached to the car just in one go. The plug is integrated into the hitch. And uh, there's another feature, which you have smaller wheels underneath the trailer, uh, which, are low, which are lowered like a landing gear. And these wheels are guiding, are steering the trailer when you are backing. So when you back, you can drive your car just normally as if it was just a five meter long car instead of a four meter long car, 5.3 meter long car exactly. Excellent. And what is, uh, so this is a prototype, right? This is prototype zero, yes. What is the initial cost that you're looking at, price? Pricing? Well, the, the uh, rental, it's only for rental because okay. it would be too expensive to own something like that just to use it 10 days in a year. And so the rental cost is going to be 10 euro per day plus 7 euro per hour you run the engine. So to give you an example, if you drive 800 kilometer, maybe you'll run it for 7 hours. So the cost will be around 70 euro if you do a one-way trip. If you do a return trip uh, at a distance of 200 kilometer, maybe it will cost you 15 euro, 20 euro for the day. And if you rent it for the weekend, it will cost you maybe 40 euro for the weekend, something like that. Excellent. And you're making them to uh, to be compatible with any electric vehicle on the market? Any yes. Major? So at the moment, this prototype is, is, is going to run with Zoe, uh, but it will run with a Leaf, with a Volkswagen Up, with a BMW i3, provided that the car maker, of course, decides to uh, do the homologation of the car for the hitch and, and uh, accept to give me the CAN protocols. Uh, or to agree on a protocol to communicate with the car, just to get the battery management system, state of charge, uh, to get the speed of the car, the power of the car, the crash signals. There are some key essential signals, of course the light and stop lights, uh, which I need to get from the car. But apart from that, any car which has a 300, 400 volts battery uh, is suitable for this. Excellent. Looks like a, like a perfect solution for those occasional long distance trips. Yes. Better than renting a car, yes. better than renting a gas and car. And better than renting, better than carrying, because this is quite bulky as you can right. see, or yeah. it's small but still. And so if you have the range extender inside the car, it means you have this in the trunk instead of luggage or instead of passengers. And you pay for this 100% of the time. So it's better so to pay only occasionally for this. Sounds excellent. When did you start working on this? A year ago. Uh, yes, the engineering started uh, in September last year. And what's your background? Finance, asset management. Okay. <laughs> but I, I do have an engineering uh, uh, background as a training. Great, and you just saw a great opportunity here. Yeah, well, I, as, a, as a car user, I thought, well, will I buy an electric vehicle? And I thought, well, it's a pity, but, but no, because from time to time I need to make longer distances. So I started to think at the solution for this, and um, uh, one idea after the other, I came to this concept. So why why would why do you think this is a better solution uh, for this need than a battery? Yes. Uh, yeah, a battery. So you could have on a trailer like this, or on an add-on uh, module, you could have a battery. Now the battery uh, in your car, uh, 22 kilowatt hour, the weight is about 290 kilo. So you can imagine, and, and on the motorway, if you drive at 130 kilometer an hour your range becomes 80 km because the energy consumption is very high. So if you double up with a second battery, you would have on the motorway a range of 160 km. That's better, but you only push back the stack of sand which is blocking your way. So it's better to say, okay, let's, the battery is fine for every day, but if you want long distances, you are not going to carry a 500, 600, 700 kilo battery, which in any case you will have difficulties to charge. So it's much better to say, okay, in this case, let's accept the fact that you need the energy density of gasoline. And so in this case, you want to have 500 kilometer range, additional range, and you need to refuel in three minutes. 